I'm Patricia O'Connor and I'm a Clinical Improvement Advisor with the Canadian Foundation for Healthcare Improvement. What I'm going to be talking about today are seven quick tips in working with patient advisors who have been partners in co-design of care. We talk to clinicians, physicians, nurses, social workers, physios, OTs, who know who the frequent customers are and invite them in to be participants in co-design work. Inform and educate the clinical team on what the roles are of the patient advisors. Promote equality by having everyone operate on a first names basis. It helps to level the playing field. Let patient advisors do more than tell their stories. They provide important information about what the gaps are in the system, in our practices and our policies and procedures. Provide mentoring for the patient advisors. Are they really experiencing that they are a partner at the table versus feeling like a guest? And what could be better if? Provide recognition. These people inevitably end up providing a considerable amount of time in contributing. And the last piece of advice is take a deep dive into understanding and hearing the voice of patients and use as many different methods as you can in real time, preferably, to hear what patients and family members and caregivers have to say about what's working well and what could be better if.